Yo, 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 what's going on, my brothers and sisters? Hope you guys are having a good day today so far. Uh, so this is going to be a continuation of my last video where I had uh, copped Mortal Kombat 1, man. I copped the game. I was like, you know what? Let me get this game. Lately, I've really been enjoying fighting games between Street Fighter 6 that I'm playing a, a lot right now. Then this just came out. Tekken 8 drop uh, early next year. So, yeah, fighting games, bro, have really risen these past couple of years i was like you know what let me get mortal kombat one i've never been a mortal kombat guy like that but because this is what's supposed to be like a kind of a reboot in the sense and the last mortal kombat that i got i think was mortal kombat 10 i was like you know what let me get this game even though i'm really waiting for the dlc for it <laughs> let me get it now just so i could you know kind of learn the game i was having a lot of fun with this game this past weekend bro a lot of fun the story is great i and now i did hear that that of the story was the best part about this game and uh yeah i could see why <laughs> i could definitely see why it almost feels like you're watching a movie at times and playing a game at the same time with how good the story is and how good the graphics look in uh this game damn great <laughs> Yo, how he did that to Grandmama? From a visual standpoint, this is the best fighting game that I've seen on Next Gen so far. You know, uh, when I was playing this game uh, on a live stream, like people like to compare this game to Street Fighter 6. Oh, this joke look way better than Street Fighter 6. It, it'll play so much better. You wasn't having this much fun on Street Fighter 6. <laughs> and it's not, one, I hate when people do that. Street Fighter 6 art style is so much different than Mortal Kombat. You ain't got freaking gore and freaking fatalities and bodies ripping apart in Street Fighter. Like, Street Fighter 6 in its own right looks great. But yeah, from a visual standpoint, this game is different and it just looks a lot more like realistic and just, it. Th this is one of the best looking games I've seen on PS5. If, if you guys are playing this on a PS5, tell me this junk don't look amazing, bro. It's a shame that this junk looks so god awful on Switch <laughs> because it, it it's just crazy seeing how this junk look like on Switch and then you see it on PS5. It's just like, yo, why is it anybody playing this junk on Switch? <laughs> anybody? So yeah, man, very very engaging story, man. I was really enjoying it, and I might even go as far as to say. This might be one of the best stories that I've played all year. And that coming from a fighting game is crazy. The game is very fun to play too. Uh, again, me not being a Mortal Kombat guy like that. I love how you can feel the impact of every hit you make in this game. Uh, it just makes it that much better to me. Uh, the music choice. Lord have mercy. I don't know who is respond. I thought this was just for the trailers. <laughs> Cause you like you remember when you know the Mortal Kombat one trailers were like dropping and like as they were showing like the fighting, they just had great music to kind of match what was going on in the trailer. Bro, in this game, during the story mode, when you're playing games online, I don't know who was responsible for this. <laughs> I really don't, but oh, my God, some of the best music. I mean, right outside of Tekken, I, I'm I'm gonna still give it to Tekken because <laughs> Tekken's music is freaking amazing as well. But it just puts you that much more into the game and more immersed in the game, and it matches, you know, just the energy and just the style of what this game is. It just it it, it just syncs so well together that it just makes the game even that much more fun to me i've done the towers mode and they're pretty cool you know you just uh go into it they got like different i think they got a novice then uh intermediate then hard then like champion then 
thumbnails and like you know you like fight you know different characters as a you climb higher and higher in uh, the tower i think that's you know like a you know a staple in the mortal kombat games i have not done invasions yet um i've heard kind of mixed uh thoughts on invasions though some people like it some people some people don't i haven't uh spent no time with it yet though but uh they have that as well um and then the online the online um the online is solid man it's solid i feel it does take a wee bit too long to find matches sometimes you know uh, again comparing it to street fighter 6 i feel like you get in games quicker in street fighter 6 as opposed to mortal kombat um it's not like you know no like crazy wait time i just wish it was like a little bit faster um i will say this though i actually love the fact people can have mics on while you're fighting and you can hear them and you can talk trash with them and stuff like that <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> God damn. God damn, okay. Most fighting games don't do that. Like Tekken don't do that. Street Fighter 6 don't uh do that. Uh, you know, other fighting like most fighting games, you know, you go online, you know, you go to ranked or you go to casual and you know you play that player and then you move on about your business. But in this junk, you can actually like talk trash and i think it makes the junk more fun i i have had some people say that nah i i don't want this in a street fighter i don't want this in this, this game and yeah when you do have people on the mic you can run into some toxic suckers you know and they'll be saying you know all, all types of crazy stuff but i don't know i i just feel like i guess because that's kind of something that you don't often see in fighting games i love the fact that it's in this game and like there there's been times where i've had like matches in this junk and like you can hear them like raging on like the other end. <laughs> and that just make like just imagine you know you're like playing against someone and like you're destroying them in like the fighting game and you can hear the and you can hear them like molding on the other end <laughs> like that to me that that just makes it fun but yeah of course you know it can get toxic with stuff like that but that kind of comes with the territory of you know having mics on as far as like all the you know I guess you want to call it the like like the cosmetics or the skins, whatever. Uh, they are. Right. I haven't seen really nothing like crazy. That I'm like, oh, I have to get this or I have to get that. It's just you know cosmetics that they have in uh, this game that they try to get you to spend you know your currency on. You know if you want it, you all could go to the PlayStation Store and, like buy coins and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty much just a way to you know get more money out of your pockets <laughs> but uh as far as the roster choice i think i i personally again me being a new mortal kombat guy a lot of uh characters that are not in this game like ermac for instance he was in you know previous uh mortal kombat games along with other uh characters that i can't think of uh right now but yeah, I I heard that he's supposed to be in DLC, and I don't know if you guys feel this way, but if you are a fan of fighting games, I personally don't like when they do stuff like that. Take Street Fighter VI, for instance. Akuma is one of the most popular Street Fighter characters ever, and he's going to be DLC in Street Fighter VI as well. I think he, he was DLC in Street Fighter V as well hell he might have even been dlc in street fighter 4 i don't get how characters in these games if it's street fighter if it's tekken if it's mortal kombat that have already been you know fan favorites and an established why are they not put in the game from the get-go to be in the roster instead you have to have them as dlc when we all know who they are like it, it it's all like it's almost a waste of a roster spot to me so i i and it's not just this game but i just don't get why like different fighting games do that like take smash brothers ultimate for instance i think why a lot of people love that game is because the roster they had so many different characters in like the game from different smash games and then they added in new characters on top of that i feel like if you want to make a great fighting game one it, you know it has to be fun but two you gotta have a good roster day one and i do think that the roster in mortal kombat one is better 
I thought that Street Fighter, that Street Fighter 6 roster at the time at least was great on launch. The roster for Street Fighter 6, bro, that's just kind of trash. <laughs> because people, you know, you see the same three or four characters chosen and it's like again we're waiting for characters like akuma and ed that have been in previous street fighters to come out later and these are like old characters that people already know about it so i have seen a little bit of that in mortal kombat 1 going on me kind of being like a newcomer of a i mean i mean in a sense a newcomer of the uh series you know i guess i feel like the roster is pretty good for me because I'm not really acquainted with these characters. But to someone who really loves Mortal Kombat, I could see how they could be disappointed with some characters uh, missing from this game. From what I've heard from most Mortal Kombat uh, stands out there, this game is better than Mortal Kombat 11. Um, apparently with Mortal Kombat 11, a lot of suckers hated that game. <laughs> I don't know how it how uh, uh how it lasted as long as it did, but uh, I I have heard from a lot of Mortal Kombat fans that. Though this isn't as good as Mortal Kombat 10, it's more fun to play than Mortal Kombat 11. Actually, I also wanted to hit on the whole tag system in this game, you know, uh, which was kind of like, you know, the like the main new thing that they would have in this game with the whole tag system. I haven't really gotten too good with it yet because you do have to choose someone that, you know, kind of... Uh, I guess synergizes with whoever you're using and going to something like a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters like that tag system was great like once you got you know used to it and like you could use the tag system to keep your combos going and like you could control all three characters you know in that game in this game you choose your tag partner and you can't control them it's just they're specifically just for a tag partner so take for instance again in Mortal Kombat 10 one of my favorite kit well not my favorite but my main in that game i think was Jax. and in this game Jax is in this game but he's only a available as a tag partner and you know you tag him in and then he does you know i think they have like three different tag moves for each you know person you have and that's really it but i have seen a few people kind of like use them in like a way that they keep the combos going but yeah as of right now i'm not really sure how i feel about the tag system i'm not gonna say it's bad but it's not on like fighters level or marvel versus capcom level like that to where like you know it really keeps the combo going and you can build up like meter if you know how to use your tags right me personally i'm just not sure how i feel about the new tag system yet in this game yeah that's really all i have to say about mortal kombat 1 for in it for uh anyone that's watching this video if you got mortal kombat 1 so far especially if you are a fan of the mortal kombat series and you've been playing them for the past few years how do you feel about mortal kombat 1 thus uh thus far are you having fun with uh, the game do you feel like it lived up to expectations or are you kind of disappointed so far in other uh, the game and what it's offering uh to you let me know all that and more down in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next video my brothers and sisters i catch your boys in my next one all right we have